Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about biophysiological measures which comes under data collection methods. Already we have posted many videos with related to data collection methods and its types. If you have not watched those videos, I have given the link in description box, suggested end card and I card. This video will be useful for BSc nursing students, post basic BSc nursing students as well as students who are studying MSc nursing. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the Topic Biophysiological Methods It involves the collection of biophysiological data from subjects by using the specialized equipment to determine biological and physiological status of the individual. So biophysiologic methods you are collecting the information or uh, biophysiological data directly from the subjects. So what you are using for collecting this biophysiological uh, information or data, you are using some specialized equipments uh, in order to determine the biological functioning or biological status and physiological functioning or physiological status of the study subjects. For example, if you want to assess the blood pressure of the individual, you have to use a specialized equipment, speak more manometer or another manometer or digital manometer purposes of biophysiological methods to study the basic physiological processes or basic physiological functioning of the body then to study the physiological outcome of nursing care to evaluate nursing intervention to study correlation of physiological functioning with the patient's problems so here uh, you have to understand what is the basic physiological functioning of the body so if you want to check uh, blood pressure of the patient you can check it with your bp apparatus and you know what is the blood pressure of the individual next to study the physiological outcome of nursing care and to evaluate the nursing intervention so for these two points i will give an example suppose if you are assessing the temperature of the patient patient temperature is 100 degree fahrenheit so you are giving cold compress so after after giving cold compress again you are checking the temperature of the patient so the temperature comes down to 99 degree Fahrenheit so it shows that whatever the intervention a cold compress intervention what you have given is very effective so the patient's temperature has come down from 100 to 99 degree Fahrenheit next is to study the correlation of physiological functioning with patient problem suppose if the patient is suffering from any liver diseases his uh, liver enzymes SGOT, SGPT like that and all it will be increased. Suppose if the patient is having complaining of severe headache so if you are taking x-ray or CT scan or MRI scan you can assess any brain abnormality like any brain tumor or any clot in the blind or any subspace occupying lesions are there in the brain everything you can see it next is the types of biophysiological methods you have two types of biophysiological methods one is in vivo biophysiological method next is in vitro biophysiological method so in vivo biophysiological method in this method the measurements are directly performed over the patient so you are going to do the measurements directly over the patient by using some specialized equipment for example if you want to check the blood pressure I told you need a spigmo manometer if you want to check the uh, cardiac conduction of the heart uh, or cardiac functioning of the heart conduction functioning of the heart you need to connect the patient to the ECG monitor or ECG machine if you want to check the temperature use a thermometer if you want to check the oxygen saturation of the patient use a pulse oximeter so here you are performing it directly and you are getting the results directly so here in vitro biophysiological method means you are sending to assess the biophysiological methods you need some specialized equipments with well trained staff and and sometimes you will be sending the um, laboratory samples uh, like a blood sample, urine sample or a, um, uh, throat culture and stuff like that and all you will be sending to the laboratory. So here in this measurement uh, of the biophysiological attributes, the subjects of the subjects which is carried out through collection of sample of data either it can be related to the physical biochemical microbiologic pathologic and anatomic status by using some technical instruments and by sending them to the laboratory 
for their analysis and interpretation so in vitro biophysiological methods means the measurements are carried out outside the organism either using some specialized equipment or you have to send the patient to the laboratory uh, samples to the laboratory so re re under this you have radiological measurements biochemical measurements microbiological measurements and cytological measurements what is this radiological measurement suppose if you want to assess the uh, body tissue evaluation of body tissue either by using x-ray ct scan mr or PET that is positron emission tomography so uh, this is radiological measurements next is biochemical measurements for example liver function test uh, renal function test blood sugar values uh, blood count uh, serum electrolyze everything comes under biophysiological measurements next uh, microbiological measurements uh, that is cultural sensitivity tests of urine blood uh, throat swabs uh, sputum and uh, bacterial counts uh, to identify the different bacteria or virus like that and all microbiology measurements uh. next uh, moving on to cytological measurements Measurements, any abnormalities in the cell for example a uh, uh, fnac fine needle aspiration for cytology in case of any uh, tumors you will be sending the tissue biopsy for histopathological examinations uh, okay so that all comes under cytological measurements to see any abnormality in the cell structure we are telling you no know, um, squamous uh, epithelium uh, adenocarcinoma Uh, squamous cell carcinoma like that and how we are identifying by means of sending the tissue biopsy to the uh, cytology department so what are the advantages so they are relatively more accurate and they are less so the uh, because you are using some specialized equipments and you are testing no so it gives the correct values accurate and they are less values they are more objective in nature so you cannot manipulate the results whatever the result is coming so you are going to give it so uh, it is more objective and very efficient and uh, suppose you, you are not telling suppose if the patient blood sugar level is 140 mg per deciliter means so the value shows so you cannot tell uh, 160 like that and all because in clearly the lab value it indicates so provide valid for targeted variables example uh, thermometer is used for taking temperatures pigmo manometer is used for checking the blood pressure like that so it is easily available in hospital settings both in vivo and vitro everything no easily available in hospital settings what are the disadvantages some instruments are very costly for example the instruments what you are using in nuclear medicine mri machines some laboratory tests also depending on the material what you are going to use it is very very costly now it requires significant amount of uh, training teaching your uh, knowledge experience education everything so for handling this equipment you need experience training knowledge uh, okay the results produced by the instruments sometimes it can be affected by means of uh, extraneous variables like environmental variables okay sometimes the environment affects your results uh, the use may cause uh, Uh, fear and anxiety among participants so many patients will be having severe fear and anxiety for undergoing any test then the uh, use of some methods may be very harmful for the patient also for example uh, x rays uh, m ct scans and all no they are having high power uh, radiations uh, so the exposure to radiation is very injurious to our health so some side effects are also there in the performing these uh, uh, biophysiological measurements uh, Hope this video is clear for you all. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel. My previous videos link I have given in description box, suggested end card and i card. Or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing research and statistics related videos. We have created a separate playlist for statistics as well as B.Sc. Nursing question papers also. You can watch it and you can get benefited and kindly share this to your friends and relatives. Thank you, friends. Keep supporting to Science Easy Tech channel.